Hi, I'm Shane Robb with Micro Message, and I just got back from a great weekend adventure at True North Base Camp. Now, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's a place for men to get together, to do all kinds of awesome activities, to get to dive deep into things that affect men. You know, the tough stuff that we don't really want to talk about, but we know we need to talk about? Yeah, it's that place. The last few days of base camp are amazing. You've got a huge support group all around you. Everyone's cheering you on. You feel like you just won the big game. You're ready for whatever life brings next. Once you get home, reality hits. You still have a big ball of problems you've got to address. So how do we handle it? We got to get a plan. This is the play. This is the play. Okay, the quarterback. Two receivers lined up to the left, one to the right. There's a flanker lined up to the left behind the quarterback. Oh, okay. now, he gives the ball, no, he doesn't, he doesn't get the ball. The receiver goes all the way over there to the left. Once the quarterback has the ball, he fakes to the left. No, he fakes to the right. He doesn't fake. He thinks about fake. He pretends to fake. I don't know where I am. Oh, this room is getting smaller. I have to sit down. Oh. That's a pretty funny clip, but that's the way most people feel. Like when you gotta put a plan together, you kind of feel like, what, what do I start? What, what do I do? It can be a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. What is a firewall? Now a firewall is a system that is designed to prevent unauthorized access from entering a private network by filtering the information that comes in from the internet. A firewall blocks unwanted traffic and permits wanted traffic. The firewall is a great example because a computer cannot protect against something that it doesn't know about. We just found out about a bunch of stuff that we didn't know about that was affecting us. Essentially, we want to set up our own firewall to protect against the things we don't want in our life. The things we want to reject. In order to make this work, we're going to need three things. The first one is discipline. We got to have a no matter what attitude. We got to do it not based on a feeling, but because that is what must be done. Second, we got to have accountability. We cannot do this on our own. We need other people to help us hold our feet to the fire. Third thing is consistency. We have to do this so much and so often that it becomes a part of who we are. I'm going to give you an example of a plan so that you can get your gears turning to create your own. Step one, write out a list of your current struggles. Step two, beside each struggle, write down what triggers you to fall into that struggle. Step three, what action step can you take to block the trigger? So here's a quick format list you can do. So say, as example, biting your nails. Maybe you struggle biting your nails. How, when do you get triggered? When you get bored. You, when you get bored, you notice that's when you tend to bite your nails. So what can you do to block it? When you start to bite your nails, now instead of biting your nails, you're just gonna place them in your pocket. That's an example of something that you could do that you can start right now today. Now, is this gonna be perfect? No, I'll be honest with you. You're gonna mess up. You'll probably even mess up the first day you try it, but keep going. Make adjustments, not excuses. Keep going. Get accountability partner. Get somebody to walk through this with you. Stay consistent. Don't stop. One other extremely important note. If you want to own your day, you've got to own your morning. How do you do that? By controlling the input that goes into your mind. you got to stand guard at the door of your mind. Okay? This is a big one. Find out what works for you. Maybe it's prayer. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's some positive quotes, some positive YouTube videos, something. But do it first thing in the morning and get your day started in the right mind. Do you understand me? How you play today, from this moment on, is how you will be remembered. This is your opportunity to rise from these ashes and grab glory.